All right, all right, all right. You may have heard of my series called Building the Dream Desk Setup. And if you haven't, that's a series where I pretty much go through changing my setup and evolving it with me as I evolve as a person because our needs change, our wants change. Everything's always changing when it comes to people. And I think my setup should be doing the same with me. But if I had a dollar for every complaint I got for switching from a custom built PC to a laptop, I'd be hella rich right now. And I think this largely stems from a common misconception that a custom built PC is automatically gonna be the best suited for your needs. Because, well, maybe it has more power. But that's not always the case. And there's also a lot of people that need to go the laptop route. In my case, that's what I'm doing. It works best for my needs. And I think it really comes down to what you're using your device for. For me personally, I use my computer mostly for video editing, emails, web streaming, YouTube videos, stuff like that, and occasionally some homework. So realistically, I don't need some beefy graphics card that I can go and run the crazy game because I really don't game anymore. And to be honest with you, it really doesn't provide as much value as it used to for me. In the past, I did it a lot, and I would always get obsessed over video games. I'm not trying to shoot them down right now, but it was a large waste of time. I could be so much more productive, which I have noticed a huge difference. Ever since I stopped playing video games, I've gotten so many more things done that I've wanted to. But what I'm trying to get across here is that this laptop is perfect for my needs. I'm not doing crazy motion tracking graphics with a huge heavy color grade. I'm doing very light video editing. I'm doing basic cuts with a light color grade at most. So if I had a desktop that worked perfectly fine, that crushed all my edits, why would I go and switch to a laptop? And there's actually a couple reasons for this. The first being that I already had the laptop. I already had the Dell XPS 15. So it's not like I had to go out and buy a whole new laptop and switch everything over. That, that wasn't a thing. I was already using this laptop for college. But that also comes to the second reason. I had files on two different computers all the time. And this was a huge problem because if I was traveling or if I was at school and a client needed a quick edit, I need to be able to do that very quickly. And being able to have those files on hand at the time is very, very vital. Especially, let's say, have some downtime, which is fairly often in college right now. And I want to go and crush an edit for YouTube. Well, the files are at home. So that's not very beneficial. So having all my files on a single computer has drastically changed my workflow and it's made things so much better having access to them at all times, wherever I'm at. One of my favorite features of this monitor and how it works with my laptop specifically is the fact that it has Thunderbolt. So when I get home from school or bring in my laptop wherever it is, coffee shop, you name it, I come home and I plug in one single cable. Thunderbolt. It's going to charge my laptop and it's going to transmit the display to the big giant ultra wide here. So now I can do awesome video edits on here, have tons of real estate, and I don't have to worry about being on a tiny screen. So it pretty much has all the benefits of a desktop, but in a laptop, if that makes any sense. Like this is essentially a desktop right now because I docked the laptop. As I said in the beginning of this video, a common misconception was the idea that if you're going to switch from a tower to a custom PC, you're always going to be taking a huge performance hit, and that arose the question, which is more powerful, my custom PC or the laptop? And in my case, yes, it was the custom PC. It's more powerful. And what I use my laptop for, it didn't change my workflow whatsoever. It didn't slow me down at all. And even if I did notice this like once or twice, the benefits of having a laptop by far outweigh the costs. But now that we got that out of the way, the custom PC is not coming back. If you don't like it, well, I don't know what to say because it's not happening. And if you don't want to watch my videos anymore because I'm not doing custom PC desk setup videos, well, no one's forcing you to watch, so I kindly invite you to leave. For those of you that want to stick around, I'm still planning on making desk setup videos, kind of productivity stuff, so they're not going anywhere there. 
And for those of you that are interested in the future, I am actually planning on switching to a MacBook Pro because I recently got an iPhone. Making the switch to a whole Apple ecosystem will be really nice. And I actually did a whole podcast episode on this. So if you want to check that out, I'll have it linked down in the description below. I just released my new podcast. I'm excited to bring it to you guys. It's kind of talking about minimalism, filmmaking, and my life as a college student and content creator. So if you're interested in the decisions I make and why I make them, I'd highly advise you go and check it out. It's available on pretty much every podcast streaming platform out there. I hope you learned something in this video or maybe even I helped guide you in your journey in deciding whether or not you want to go with a laptop or a custom built PC or a tower or anything like that. For me personally, a laptop is the perfect option. I can video edit on the go and do everything I need with portability. That's pretty much all I have for today guys. See you later.